Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry and the properties of rectangles, then here is an interesting problem. A rectangle is given. A few lines are drawn inside this rectangle. Blue shade is given to some parts and red shade is given to one triangle. The areas of each blue shaded part is given in the figure. Then my problem is, what is the area of the red color triangle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the whole construction is made inside a rectangle. And then, areas of the blue colored parts are given as 79, 72, 10 and 8 square units as shown in the figure. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the area of the red colored triangle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Before moving forward, we need to note an important property of rectangles. So, consider a rectangle. First, I am drawing a diagonal. Then, it cuts the rectangle into two equal right triangles. So, note that the area of the pink right triangle is same as the area of the green right triangle. Now, in the rectangle, I am drawing two lines like this and draw this vertical line. So, it splits the figure into two pairs of right triangles. Now consider the first set of right triangles. Clearly, both of them having the same area, say A1. Similarly, consider the second set of right triangles and both of them having the same area, say A2. Now, if we consider the pink region alone, its total area is A1 plus A2. And for the green region also, total area is A1 plus A2. That is, both pink region and green region are having the same area. Now in general, consider the rectangle and draw any number of arbitrary lines like this. From each of the joining point of two lines, draw vertical lines like this. And it splits the whole figure into a group of right triangles. Take the first set of right triangles and they have equal area, say A1. Similarly, there are 5 more pairs of right triangles and each pair contains right triangles of equal area. Let's say they are A2, A3, A4, A5 and A6 as shown in the figure. Now consider the pink region and its total area is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6. Similarly, if we consider the green region, its total area also will be the same. That is, both pink region and green region are having the same area. Simply speaking, in a rectangle, any arbitrary set of zigzag lines split the rectangle into two regions of equal area. Keeping this in mind, come back to the problem. Let's say the missing area is X and the areas of remaining parts are denoted as A, B, C, D, E and F as given in the figure. Now, consider these three lines. Then, by the property we have seen, they will split the whole rectangle into two regions of same area. That is, areas of both pink and green regions are equal. But, the total area of the pink region is A plus X plus 72 plus C plus 8. And, total area of the green region is B plus 79 plus E plus D plus 10 plus F. So, we got an equation here and simplify it to get A plus X plus C equal to B plus E plus D plus F plus 9. Put this as equation 1. Now again come back to the figure and consider these two lines. Again by the property we have seen, these lines will split the entire rectangle into two regions of equal area. That is, areas of both pink and green regions are equal. But 
total area of the pink region is A plus 79 plus C plus 10. And total area of the green region is X plus B plus 72 plus D plus E plus 8 plus F. So we got one more equation. Simplify this equation to get A plus C plus 9 equal to X plus B plus D plus E plus F. Put this as equation 2. Now we have these two equations and we need to find the value of x. Subtract the second equation from the first equation. Now the magic happens. On the left hand side, a and c are cancelled and what remaining is x minus 9. Similarly, on the right hand side, the terms b, e, d and f are cancelled out and what remaining is 9 minus x. So we have the equation x minus 9 equal to 9 minus x. Therefore, 2x equal to 18 and that gives x equal to 9. That means, in our figure, the area of the missing part is 9 square units and that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.